students today we will discuss modified diet in previous lecture we discuss normal and modified diet in brief let us recall first what is diet diet refers to whatever we eat or drink each day it is two types normal or regular diet second is modified diet normal diet what we eat at home or what you eat in group as you do in the hostel normal diet does not in, uh, include any dietary restrictions it should possess all the characteristics of a healthy diet uh, which means it should be well balanced moderate in all foods adequate in all nutrients should have variety of foods and calorie control normal diet is also known as regular diet normal diet is generally plant keeping the basic food groups in mind so that the uh, adequate amount of all the nutrients as per the rda is adequately met it is plant according to rda where is modified diet when normal diet is altered to suit the change need of an individual due to age or sickness is known as modified diet uh, consider a family having members in different age groups that is parent grandparents a school going child and adolescent girl now you know all of them have different nutritional requirement if you have to plan a meal for them then how will you go about it will you prepare a special food for each member of the family or you will prepare a common meal and serve them uh, to suit their nutritional requirement definitely the second option is best what are you doing here you are modifying the common meal prepared for the family to suit the nutritional needs of the different members this is called diet modification diet modification means serving the meal cooked for the family to any member after varying its quantity quality and frequency of it diet modification is achieved by in three ways first is quantitative modification second is qualitative modification third is frequency of meals quantitative modification of diet this refers to the increase or decrease in the portion size what is portion size portion size is the amount of particular dish eaten at a meal portion size is little different from a standard size a standard size is fixed but portion size vary from the individual to individual he or she eats till comfortably till his or her uh, appetite is satisfied adolescence is a period of fastest growth in the life after infancy adolescence is the period of growth spurt which creates Uh, increase nutritional requirements and uh, therefore an adolescent boy or girl uh, may eat larger portion at each meal that is he or she may need more number of rotis more amount of rice more amount of dal or more amount of dahi or uh, they may need also frequent meals to satisfy their nutritional needs this is called quantitative modification of the diet one another example heavy workers need larger portion at each meal as compared to the person who is doing sedentary work second is qualitative modification of the diet it refers to the change in nutrients consistency flavor amount of spices and the fiber content of the diet for example increased protein requirement of a pregnant woman may be met by 
increasing the protein a quantity of the protein rich foods in her diet uh, second example uh, is an elderly member of the family may need soft and less spicy food because of denture and digestive problem these are the example of qualitative modification of the diet that is modification in frequency of meals the frequency of meal means the number of meals eaten in a day children usually have a small appetite they should be fed uh, less bulky food but rich in protein energy and other nutrient content at shorter interval pregnant women sick people or elderly person need to eat smaller meals at shorter intervals that is they may need 6 to 8 times instead of 4 meals a day what is the need for diet modification diet modification is needed to maintain good nutritional status to correct nutritional deficiencies to decide change in ingredients to modify the consistency to bring changes in the body weight helps in speedy recovery if there is health issues for better growth and development what are are the factors that affect dietary modification these are age gender level of activity physiological state that is pregnancy and lactation and nutritional status or health status what is therapeutic diet when normal diet is modified to suit the change need of an individual due to sickness is known as therapeutic diet therapeutic diets are adaptation of normal or regular diet in other words it is a diet for a patient suffering from a specific disease such as renal failure heart failure hypertension diabetes etc a therapeutic diet is a meal plan that controls the intake of certain foods or nutrients it is a part of treatment of medical conditions and are normally prescribed by a physician and prepared by a dietitian what is diet therapy when diet is used for the treatment of disease is known as diet therapy this is achieved by changing the patient's normal diet in order to meet the altered requirement resulting from disease or injury what are the objectives of therapeutic diets generally normal diets are modified uh, due to one or more reasons listed here to maintain or restore optimum nutritional status to provide rest or relief to an affected organ for example liquid or soft diet is prescribed to a person suffering from gastritis to adjust to the body's ability to digest absorb metabolize or excrete for example low fat diet is prescribed to a person suffering from fat mal absorption to adjust to tolerance of food intake by mouth in certain uh, critical condition of any illness uh, when the patient is unable to take food orally then tube or parental feeding is employed to adjust to mechanical difficulties such as soft diet is prescribed to a person with denture problem to increase or decrease body weight or body composition for example low calorie diet or high calorie diet modification of normal diet generally normal diet may be modified to provide change in consistency that is soft and liquid diet to provides food bland in flavor by elimination of spices and condiments by modifying the interval of feeding that is frequency of the meal by increasing or decreasing certain nutrients by increasing or decreasing fiber content omission of specific foods such as allergy diet or gluten free diet by modification in the 
method of the feedings in certain critical condition special feeding method is employed now we will study modification in consistency uh, it is two types soft diet and fluid diet again fluid diet is two types full fluid diet and clear fluid diet soft diet it is used in acute infection or gastrointestinal disorders and post operative cases the diet is soft in consistency easily digested and contain very little fiber spices and condiments it provides a transition between a liquid and a normal diet the soft diet should be individualized according to the clinical diagnosis surgery appetite food tolerance previous nutritional status and chewing and swallowing ability so in soft diet foods which are allowed are soup which is mildly flavored all type of beverages meat moist tender meat or fish butter cream oil or salad dressing milk milk beverages and yogurt soft cooked refined cereals soft cooked vegetables cooked soft fruits fruit juices ice cream jelly cake pudding without nuts sugar honey and candies plain candies soft candies foods which need to be avoided fried foods and nuts rich pastries and desserts raw vegetables spicy food many people including infants need soft diet because they do not have teeth or ha having teeth problem therefore only change is made in the consistency of the food serves no restriction is placed on the selection of the food methods of the cooking or addition of the spices and condiments this diet is sometimes called mechanically soft diet now fluid diet it is prepared for the patient suffering from fevers person who have just undergone an operation or whenever a person is unable to tolerate solid foods the adequacy of such diet will depend on the type of the liquid diets permitted it is two types clear fluid diet and full fluid diet clear fluid diet it is prescribed to a patient with marked intolerance to food as manifested by nausea vomiting and loss of appetite the diet is given only for 2 or 3 days until the patient is able to take more liberal fluid diet as the name indicates diet consists of clear liquids free from any type of solid even milk solid is not permitted such as tea with lemon sugar coffee cereal extract strained fruit juice carbonated beverage dal extract fat free broth the amount is restricted to 30 to 60 ml per hour in the beginning and may be gradually increase as per the tolerance this diet replaces the fluid lost by the body thus prevent dehydration full fluid diet is served to person who can't chew or swallow solid food it includes all foods which are liquid at room temperature this consists of milk cereal porridge soups fruit juice gelatin dessert this diet will provide minimum requirement of protein vitamins and minerals diet is generally low in iron vitamin b12 a and thiamine but by careful planning the diet can be made adequate for maintenance requirement except for the fiber the fruits are usually given at 2 to 4 hour interval modification in nutrients are necessary in certain illness condition where metabolism of the individual is changed in respect of one or more nutrients for example inefficient utilization of carbohydrate in diabetes mellitus inability of the kidney to excrete sodium chloride in uh, nephritis increase production and uh, decrease excretion of uric acid in gout 
Modification in nutrients include modification in carbohydrate content, modification in protein content, modification in fat content, modification in electrolyte and minerals, and modification in vitamins. Now we will learn modification in carbohydrate. High carbohydrate is it. A diet is indicated in Addison's disease, various disease of liver, and in preoperative conditions. Lactose free diet, as you know, lactose is milk sugar. It's prescribed for patients suffering, suffering from lactose intolerance, where the total or partial inability to metabolize lactose occurs. Restricted carbohydrate diet is prescribed in diabetes mellitus. High calorie diet is useful for the treatment of underweight, fever, infections, malabsorption, hyperthyroidism. Low calorie diet is useful in obesity, cardiovascular disease, hepatic coma and acute uremia. Restricted protein diet is used in patient in hepatic coma or with chronic uremia or renal disease or liver disease. Gluten free diet is prescribed to a person suffering from celiac disease. Restricted purine diet is useful in the treatment of gout. High protein diet is prescribed in protein energy malnutrition, pre and post operative periods, high burn, uh, fevers, injury, nephrosis in children, cirrhosis of liver, peptic ulcer, ulcerative colitis, hepatitis, celiac and cystic fibrosis, tuberculosis, wounds and nutritional anemia. Now modification in fat. Restricted fat diet are prescribed for patient with disease of liver, gallbladder or pancreas in which disturbances of digestion and absorption of the fat occurs. Fat controlled or low cholesterol diet is used for patient with increased level of blood cholesterol and for those with atherosclerosis. Moderately high fat diet is used in the treatment of undernutrition. Increased sodium diet is useful in addition stages. Low sodium diet is prescribed in cardiovascular disease, hypertension, renal disease with swelling, cirrhosis of liver with ascites, preeclampsia and eclampsia. Restricted copper diet is given in Wilson disease. High calcium and phosphorus diet is useful for the treatment of rickets, osteomalacia, tetany, dental caries, and acute lead poisoning. High iron diet is prescribed for the treatment of anemia. High vitamin A diet, you know, it is prescribed for the treatment of night blindness and gyroptalema. High vitamin D is useful for the treatment of rickets and osteomalacia. High vitamin K is prescribed to combat liver or gallbladder disease. High thiamine diet is prescribed in beriberi and polyneuritis. High niacin diet is prescribed to a person suffering from plagra. High vitamin C is prescribed in scurvy to improve wound healing and overall defense mechanism of the body. Some other modifications are ketogenic diet. It is used to control epilepsy. It is low in carbohydrate, low in protein, and high in fat diet. Bland diet is prepared by omitting condiments and spices and prescribed in uh, peptic ulcer and gastritis. Allergy diet, food or foods responsible for allergic reactions are eliminated. Now, we will learn modification in the feeding methods. Uh, feeding through oral is the most acceptable method. But patients suffering from the severe illness are unable to consume foods and fluids orally. They have to be nourished by special feeding methods. There are two methods. One is tube or internal feeding. Second is parenteral feeding. Tube feeding if a patient whose gastrointestinal tract is working but cannot take sufficient food orally, tube feeding is resorted to. 
ट्यूब फीडिंग इज गिवेन इन द इन द कंडीशन लाइक बेबीज हु हैव लो बर्थ वेट एंड कैन नॉट सक डोज हु आर अंडर नरिश एंड कैन नॉट टेक और रिटेन फूड्स ओरली परसिस्टेंट एनोरेक्सिया पेशेंट्स हु नीड फोर्स्ड फीडिंग आफ्टर सर्टन टाइप ऑफ सर्जरी सच एज ओरल सर्जरी पेशेंट विथ सिवियर माल एब्जॉर्बसन पेशेंट विथ असोफेगल ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन पेशेंट हु कांट एब्जॉर्ब और डाइजेस्ट फूड सेमी कॉन्सियस और अनकॉन्सियस पेशेंट और एनी अदर कंडीशन विच प्रिवेंट इनटेक ऑफ सफिशेंट फूड इंटरनल न्यूट्रिशन कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड बाई सप्लाइंग इंटेक्ट और सेमी और कम्प्लीटली हाइड्रोलाइज फॉर्मूला ट्यूब फीडिंग इज कैरिड आउट मोस्ट कॉमनली बाई नैजो गैस्ट्रिक ग्रोथ अदर मेथड्स इन्वॉल्व आर गैस्ट्रोस्टोमी एंड जेजनोस्टोमी इन विच द ट्यूब इज इंसर्टेड इन स्टोमक एट द टाइम ऑफ ऑपरेशन इन गैस्ट्रोस्टोमी एंड इन जेजनम इन इन केस ऑफ जेजनोस्टोमी नाउ इंट्राफेनस फीडिंग या पेरेंटल न्यूट्रिशन पेशेंट हु फॉर ए क्रिटिकल पीरियड कैन नॉट एडिकुएटली नरिस्ड बाई ओरल और ट्यूब फीडिंग रिक्वायर पेरेंटल फीडिंग द फ्लूड्स आर गिवन थ्रू द पेरीफरल और सेंट्रल वेन्स इट इज यूजफुल इन द कंडीशन लाइक पेडियाट्रिक डिसऑर्डर कैंसर ऑफ द माउथ फैरिक्स ओसोफेगस विच ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट द पैसेज ऑफ द फूड न्यूरोलॉजिक इंजुरीज मल्टी ऑर्गन सिस्टम फेलियोर इन सर्जरी ऑफ गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टाइनल ट्रैक्ट और एक्सटेंसिव बर्न पेशेंट हु आर अनकॉन्सियस ड्यू टू हेपेटिक फेलियर डायबेटिक कॉमा एक्यूट यूरेमिया और इंजरी ऑफ ब्रेन एंड अदर हाइपर मेटाबॉलिक स्टेटस सर्जरी सेप्सिस एंड एड्स आई थिंक दिस इज द लास्ट स्लाइड टूडे वी लर्न वाट इज डाइट मोडिफिकेशन वाई इट इज नीडेड हाउ इट इज डन एंड वाट इज द थेरेपेटिक एडेप्टेशन ऑफ द नॉर्मल डाइट थैंक यू